terrain, the pick operant rollout. So here I have my contour lines that are spline lines and they're in different elevations. So I'm ready now to, I go over to my command panel, I go to create geometry compound objects. I select one of the lines, I'm gonna select the lowest elevation here and I'm going to pick terrain. And then now I'm going to come down in my pick operant uh, area and I have basically the same types of uh, operants as my boolean and by default we want to generally go with move uh, so we're just going to move uh, this so what we're going to do is go and pick on the operant button turn that on so it's blue and I'm going to come over and hover over one of my lines so I hover over line 2 and bam it creates my terrain model next I'm going to come up and hover over line 3 and it makes it keeps building my terrain and now I'm going to go up to line 4 and it's building my terrain and I'll go up to line 5 and it builds my little mountain top I'm going to right click and click and now I have a terrain model here so I can look at it from different views here and you can see I got the different terrain here going on and so I could look at it in varieties of way, a variety of ways here I could turn off those edges but it's hard to see the exact uh, what's going on if I went with wireframe you might be able to see that it's building a surface a ground surface around all of those lines um, so I'll go with realistic and I'll go with edge faces uh, I help you see it the best so our terrain model uh, using the operant uh, generally you want to use the move operant and then pick the the pick operant button and pick your line work I like to go from bottom up but you could go from top down don't necessarily make, recommend you know going out of order and out of sequence in your elevations of your terrain objects keep it going from up in elevation or down in elevation generally I like it from ground zero going up